An old ride at Alton Towers that closed back in 2015 is heavily rumoured to return next year. And as you can see from this footage, I've gone inside to take a look. No, I haven't because that would be trespassing. Hello, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be discussing an old Alton Towers ride, which since my previous videos on it has actually been pretty much confirmed that it's returning next year. And in this video, I'm going to give you all the scoop as to why. That's not even the saying. The fact that this ride returning is like one of five major things happening right now at Alton Towers, it excites me so much for the future of that place. If you do want to stay up to date with all the latest updates, then feel free to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. So in 1994, John Wardley created Nemesis, which was received very well, I think. It's not as iconic as the runaway mine train, let's be honest. Following Nemesis at a sister park, Nemesis Inferno was born. Because we couldn't have just the one, oh no. And quite a few years later, Alton Towers expanded on the storyline of Nemesis by creating Nemesis Subterra, an indoor flat ride, but technically a dark ride experience. It's like Froghopper if it went underground. The story of Nemesis Subterra follows the Phalanx and their operation regarding this egg that had been found and is now safe for viewing. So technically, if you're queuing for this ride when it was open, you're queuing to see an egg. You know, museum experience at Alton Towers. Pretty much, as you may know, the egg goes rogue. I never thought I'd say that in my entire life. Everything starts to fail around you, all the lights start flickering and all this kind of stuff, and you suddenly drop down beneath the ground. You then have to basically get a lift back up and you finish it off with a small maze section and yeah, that's the egg ride done. And due to multiple different reasons, it didn't run for very long, meaning it closed three or four years later at the end of 2015. Long run, eh? So, what has it done since? <laughs> Nothing. As the years went on, it became even more evident that it wasn't going to reopen. The ride was removed before the maps, the signage and cue boards outside were turned off and removed, and then it was being used as a scare maze instead of a ride. <laughs> Sounds like somewhere else I know. So why has it taken to this point, and why is it now that it looks like it's returning? Basically, if you look at the front of the attraction, you see that tank. It's trundled all the way down to Jewel and blown it up. There have honestly been so many hints to this thing returning that I have honestly started to think that Galactica's gonna go to Mars soon. It's crazy, man. First of all, quite a subtle hint was when Nemesis was first announced to close, the Phalanx were associated with its closure, which the Phalanx were only a part of Nemesis Subterra's story, not Nemesis's. This is, this is. So could this be potential foreshadowing? I feel like I'm in an English lesson. Alongside this, by the way, a massive thank you to Towers Times for the photos. Nemesis ride staff have been spotted more recently wearing red jumpsuits with the Phalanx's logo on. Same reason as before. Why? Why? And what is probably the most noticeable reason as to why it's most likely returning is because of the extensive work being done on site. Now, yes, I speculated a while back about these blue markings that were opposite it, or I also speculated that it would open, actually. I speculated that this would happen. Round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But it hasn't got anything to do with markings that have appeared. No, no, no. It's more to do with the fact the queue line has had its floor completely removed but the fences have remained, which means the flooring is most likely being replaced because it was wooden and it was probably rotting. And why would you replace a queue line floor for a ride that isn't open? That is right, to keep it shut. But it is pretty evident at this point that it's going to reopen and that excites me a lot because, don't, don't say this out loud, but I did wuss out of it when I was a kid. And it would be nice to actually give it a go because I'm sure it was a fun experience, although, I did hear a lot of bad reviews about it. Do not queue more than 20 minutes. It's not worth it. I'm sure there'll be many tweaks to this attraction in the very near future. I mean, if you think a tweak is completely shutting it down, then you're right. And let's be honest, it will probably reopen as a very different experience with a similar format, because if they're going to somehow keep that the same after six years of being closed, so it can't be the exact same. So something's gonna have to change. It is really interesting to see all of this happening, especially with everything else that's also happening around the resort. If you wanna hear about something exciting that's happening across the park from it, click here. Oh, it's very interesting.